Okay, folks, you've got your PowerPoint open and you're ready to record your narration. So if you go to Slideshow, menu up at the top of PowerPoint, you should see the Record Slideshow button and it's a little drop down. And you can either choose to record from beginning or record, record from current slide. And I think you likely want to start from the beginning. So go ahead and hit that button and then click on Start Recording. And you'll notice that you actually get your slideshow and in the upper left hand corner, you see two timers, one timer describing how long you're, you are on this slide and how long you are in total. So you talk about your first slide. Uh, this is the title slide, something interesting, 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 interesting. And then you're ready to go on to the next slide. Click the little arrow button and now you're on the next slide. And so you talk about that slide, blah, 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 blah. This is Ashley Black. You don't know her, but you do know me. I'm down at the bottom. And then you click on the arrow and you go on to the next slide. And this is a slide about the Park City Mathematics Institute, blah, 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 blah. Interesting trivia, interesting trivia. And you just keep going through and hitting the next button until you get to the last slide. And when you get to the last slide, the recording just drops out and ends. And so blah, 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 whole bunch of stuff. Um, this was likely too long of an example of PowerPoint to use, but eventually you will get to the end. And when you get to the end, it drops back to the PowerPoint. There we go, we're back into the PowerPoint, and your slide is done. Uh, your recording is finished. You want to be able to save it as a complete show, so people can just see your PowerPoint with the narration. So you go to File, Save As. Uh, find a place to save it. And the change you want to make is we don't want to save the presentation because that's just your slides. We want to go down here and find PowerPoint Show. And a PowerPoint Show wraps together all of your slides, all of your transitions, and all of your narration into one nice package. So let's switch it to PPSX and save it. And so we're going to save it. And I saved it to uh, my Dropbox you'll likely save it to your documents folder because the next step is to go to SkyDrive and save it there so that everyone else can access it. So when you're on eSchool, you go to SkyDrive and in SkyDrive there's a folder that says Shared with Everyone. So we're going to click into Shared with Everyone. So this is my Shared with Everyone folder and it says Drag Files Here. So I'm going to go to where I saved my PowerPoint show. And you always want to remember where you save things. And so there it is up at the top. Notice it has a different icon than what you're necessarily used to using in PowerPoint. So I'm going to just going to click and I'm going to drag it right where it says drag here and let go. And notice, and you notice that you actually upload get slideshow, slideshow and in the upper left hand corner <laughs> you've got a preview timers, of it. One Sorry about that. Looks like you know what you want to hear. Um, it's going over top. So there it is uploaded in my documents folder that's shared with everyone. And now I need the link to put on my OneNote to share with Mr. Heleno. So I click the three little buttons and share. And you just want to get the link and you want to make sure that it's a view only link. You don't want people to edit your show, you just want them to use the link to get at your show. And so there's the link, copy it and then paste it into your OneNote. And so there's my math notebook. I'm just going to paste it up here. And now everyone who accesses that link will be able to see my complete PowerPoint show including the narration um, and all the slides. If uh, you're a real pro, you'll right click the link, choose edit link, and change the text so you don't see all that ridiculous HTML code. You just want to see text to display my PowerPoint show. And then it looks a lot nicer when people see it. Okay. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email. Other than that, you're off to the races. Thanks very much.